I am Kaseno Izatiu Adri from Uganda. I belong to Alliance for National Transformation Political Party. Alongside the agricultural products, we also export a lot of minerals to which we have uh, gold and we also have iron ore. Major problem which we have as a country, although the country's economy grows at the rate of 5% per annum, is the fact that the country is heavily indebted. As per 2021 financial year, Uganda's uh, indebtedness is at the rate of 78.8% trillion shillings, which is more or less double the GDP, the annual budget of the country. It therefore makes us more of dependency on foreign aid uh, loans in order to undertake heavy investments like in the road sector and uh, issues of health, issues even of promotion of agriculture. We depend heavily on loans. We also have a problem of population strata. More than 53% of our population consists of young people who are unemployed and that is a time bomb for us because that therefore means even facilities like education and health care are a problem for this young population. And in order for us to improve on this, then we have to invest heavily in vocational training services so that this younger generation can be equipped with technical skills and knowledge in order to go into self-employment. We also feel that in order to reduce the population pressure on the limited resources, because our population growth is about 3% per annum, which is so, so bad for a young, poor country like Uganda, where we have already reached the population of 45 million. And given time, this population can easily clock at uh, 80 million. That therefore means that we have a lot, a lot, a lot in terms of resources to go on to skilling this young population in order to prepare them. We also need to spend on institutions of family planning services for these people so that they can be able to have a population that they can manage. Number three, government needs to also have heavy investment in infrastructure development. Things like agriculture, I mean things like road construction, things like transport facilities, things like power generation. Because if we are to go to industrialization, which is very key, then we need a stable source of electricity. And in order for us to improve on this, then we have to invest heavily in vocational training services so that this younger generation can be equipped with technical skills and knowledge in order to go into self-employment. One, two, three. Here we are.